Hi everyone, I, I'm Omer, I'm the CEO of uh, Innoviz. Uh, Innoviz is developing technologies for self-driving vehicles. Um, people think about autonomous driving as a nice, maybe a better way to spend your time with your phone going from one point to another, but actually there is a more important element here that it's, it's actually going to be safer, you know, and thinking about mobility is a major part of our still, you know, day to day, and it's still the most dangerous thing you're probably still going to do when you leave out your house. And I think there is no real reason for that. So we're trying to develop technologies that will take the risk out of that. So we're working with many customers such as BMW and Volkswagen and, and many others. Today we had a big announcement with Volkswagen, we worked with Mobileye. And, and the reason that they decided to work with Innoviz and not others is because we provide a 3D sensor that, you know, I, I can show you. This is, uh, we, can, we, we are showing a demo here. So it's a, you know, pe most people haven't really experienced uh, seeing a real 3D camera. So you can see me playing now with the, you know, the point of view of the data that is generated from the sensor that is, you know, it's up there at, at the corner. Yeah, and this small camera is actually scanning the scene with a laser that's inside. This is, this is ourselves, this is me. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> and now you can see me playing with the 3D data and it's like creating a 3D model of, of the world. Now, this is useful for cars and many other applications to try to make driving decisions in the most safe way. You know, being able to see where things are, where they are going, uh, in, you know, building their path in the most safe way. But even sensors such as this could have issues, you know, when driving in an autonomous vehicle, imagine you're driving on the highway and suddenly there is a bug, you know, flying through and crashing on your window, a rock, mud, water, you know, you, you, you don't want to be in a situation where the computer is now relying on a sensor that is now blocked by something. That has been a long due, I would say, problem that many uh, were asking us to think about how to solve. So I'll show you now uh, how we solved it in, in our sensor. So usually when you throw mud on a sensor, it's going to be blocked, at least part of it. And, and now, uh, Christian, uh, uh, Guy, can, can you like, can you, can you put the, the mask on? Okay, so basically what you're going to see now is that we're going to add uh, a mask on the sensor, <laughs> uh, which would basically, we're going to add a mask to the sensor which replicates like you're covering it with mud. Okay, you can see there's like blockages. Normally you would expect that the scene now, the, the video would show holes in the field of view. And you can see it, that was not, the, this is not the case. Okay, so, and, and this is really thanks to a very unique design we had with our sensor that allows the car still to see very well without any gaps even in these conditions um, and, and, and allowing you to have a, a very safe drive even if you're completely covered with mud. Obviously, you need to clean it at some point, but it doesn't, it removes the necessity for an emergency braking, putting the, the car on the side, eventually giving you a better experience. So this is just one example of where we're good at, but it's actually much more than that. It's the cost of the sensor, it's the resolution that you're seeing here, the range, there are many other factors, but it's, it's one, you know, one important one. So I hope you kind of uh, got a little bit taste of what it takes to develop a safe autonomous driving technology that, you know, eventually we want you to drive comfortably and feel safe. So it's a, it's a hard work. So thank you very much.